If you click this video because you want to see a naked woman tearing up a church, that's all right. We accept sinners to come watch our videos. Now, my name is Keith. If you're new to the channel, at Christian Warrior Training, we talk about incidents that occur at churches and how you can prevent them from happening at your church or how you can control violence that might occur at your church. Let's go ahead and break down this incident. Let's talk about what happened. There is a full bunch of craziness that occurred in Jackson, Mississippi. Now, the woman has not been caught. So this incident happened on Wednesday morning. It was captured on video by witnesses who said the woman is known to be mentally unstable. The video shows the woman vandalizing several windows and other property at Liberal Trinity Church of God on Northside Drive in West Jackson. Now, witnesses said that the woman got into an argument with a man on the premises before damaging the building. A witness said she was walking down the street naked, went to the church, busting all types of windows. She just went crazy because she had made because she was mad at some dude or whatever. This is according to this is a direct quote here. I don't know what they had going on, said that witness. Now, witnesses also said that she had a sharp object in her hand and was using it as a weapon during the altercation. Now, the video then shows the woman walking away from the scene while still arguing with bystanders. She had blood on her hands and her feet. We don't know how much damage was done to the church or how much it's going to cost, but let's break down what you need to do at your church when a naked woman shows up and starts breaking out the windows. First things first, you got to evacuate or shelter in place. You're going to have to make that decision. Uh, here she's outside. The best thing you do is gather your people, get them inside, lock the doors, and don't let her come in. Problem done. Call 911, get the cops rolling, and you're good to go. You do have that broken window that she could gain entry into. It would be pretty easy to take her or to keep her from going through that window. You can deploy pepper spray or something like that to keep her from coming in. You do want to give first aid and medical treatment to anybody that was hurt. So as you pull everybody in, start looking at everybody, see who's hurt, and start giving emergency aid. You also want to set up a perimeter around her to keep people away from her. So you want to it's going to be a fine line. You've got to stay far enough away from her, but still keep it big enough that you can keep people out so they don't inadvertently walk in because you're going to have people coming to church. They may not know you have a naked woman out front with a sharp object trying to stab people. And so you just want to keep that perimeter set up to keep people out. If she wants to flee the perimeter, like flee the church and go, open that perimeter up and let her go. And it becomes the problem of everybody outside. Certainly, you can, you know, he give people warnings to stay away and then the, let the police deal with it. You could try to de-escalate the situation, but here she, the, people are saying she's mentally unstable. I think their first clue was that she was naked and bleeding and attacking a church. But people that are under the influence and are mentally ill are very difficult to de-escalate. And remember, with de-escalation, it takes two people to de-escalate. So I can de-escalate all we want, but if she doesn't want to de-escalate, we're not going to de-escalate and the problem is just going to keep getting worse. So you want to be a little bit careful with that. I have tried to de-escalate people with mental illness and people that are high on drugs while they are armed. It is very tough to do. Yeah, they uh, Most of the time, they're not going to want to go with the program. So it's best just to wait for the police to show up. And then they're going to have to use less lethal means to take her into custody. If you do engage with the suspect, you want to do it at a, at a distance. We are talking like 50 feet. And you want to try and have some barrier in between, like really good place would be in a doorway where you can just quickly withdraw and then slam that door. But just know, I don't know if you're really going to get anywhere. You don't want to have some, you do want to have some coordination with law enforcement. So you're immediately going to call 911, start letting them know what's going on and let them know where she is right now and where she's headed. They're going to want to know a name and a description because uh, it's so funny when dispatch asks for a description, it's the naked woman with a sharp object in her hand destroying the church. There's not many of them out there, right? Uh, you do want to look at that containment, figure out how to contain her so that she doesn't do more damage, doesn't hurt more people, something like that, right? Another big thing that you can do is have a debrief when it's done. Uh, for the church, if this was your church and you're watching, reach out to me and I will help you do that debrief so that uh, you can find out what you did right and what you did wrong so you can make a better response. That that I am not, I wouldn't charge for that. That's completely free. I just want to help my fellow followers of Christ and take care of you. So reach out to me. I'm pretty easy to get a hold of you. Go to ChristianWarriorTraining.com. Uh, you, if you subscribe to the newsletter, just hit reply. I'll get the reply. Uh, but do that debrief and then uh, talk about what you could do differently. I know when we look at security measures at this church, uh, the biggest thing, it looks like it might be in a rougher part of town. You've got bars on the outside. You just want to make sure that if the church is closed, that all those gates on the outside are locked up so they can't come in. So 
Just a quick video to talk about the naked woman that's destroying the church and talk about what you can do to prevent that. By me joking around, I'm certainly not making light of the situation. I'm just trying to help you guys better understand because it, it will happen again at some other church because for some reason, naked people fixate on churches and cops and uh, we're the ones that have to deal with that. So remember the biggest thing that you can always do to take care of yourself and protect yourself is remember your ABCs and always be caring.